So judging off the thumbnail and the title, I'm sure you guys already know what's going on here. I just wanted to start this video off and give you guys a little bit of a backstory and a little bit of a better understanding of why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I'm sure y'all are well aware that the boat market is absolutely god awful right now. If you want a nice bay boat, 20 to 22, 24 foot, you pretty much have to sell your house to get one. And I didn't want to have to put myself in that kind of bind and that kind of predicament just to have a boat and get out on the water and go fishing. I knew there had to be a more cost effective way for me to get out on the water and put some redfish in the boat. So let's get into the story about how I came across this boat. So anytime I'm looking for a deal, whether it be a car, a boat, doesn't matter guys, I'm checking three different places. Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and Craigslist. So all I do is I'll set the mile radius as far as it'll go and I literally check it multiple times a day. At any given time, I always have mental notes of everything that's currently listed. <laughs> Guys, I know I'm weird and it's crazy, but it's the things you have to do to find deals nowadays. Because if you don't jump on them and have cash in hand ready to rock and roll, it's gone just like that. It was just a normal day. I was sitting outside in the morning drinking my cup of coffee. Scrolling through Facebook Marketplace, literally guys, the exact boat that I wanted for months and months and months popped up. It's listed, it was probably about two hours away from Miami. I live in Pensacola, Florida, so that's about an eight to nine hour drive. So I saw it on Facebook Marketplace, I messaged the guy, he responded real quick, gave me his phone number, we started talking back and forth. Literally guys, it was probably mid to late morning once we figured out all the details and everything and I hauled butt down there. This boat is rough y'all. The seller wasn't completely transparent with me and when I finally got down there in person it was in a lot worse shape than I expected. So I've owned boats in the past. Outside of John boats and kayaks and stuff like that, my first big boy boat was a Proline 20 Sport. It's a center console offshore boat. I had that for about a year but I've got real big in the fish and flats and stuff like that and I kept rubbing bottom with that big joker so ended up selling that, ended up buying a 20 foot blue wave bay boat, rolled gunnel, splatter paint paint job, almost kind of like a blazer if you're familiar with them. Uh, it was a good little boat while it lasted but I kind of got burnt out with it and I was ready for something a little bit different. I've worked on boats in the past, little here and there stuff but I've never taken on a project this big before. Luckily for me, I've got some good resources in my corner. A couple good buddies that are gonna help me through the entire process. Anyways guys, enough talking. I'm super excited to get underway with this project. Let's get outside and check out the new rig. Right, guys so please excuse the background noise my neighbors their dogs like to bark all day long <laughs> but anyways all right boys and girls here's the new rig she is rough i'm sure it's kind of hard to tell from the video but this boat is super rough guys i'm gonna go through and show you everything that i plan to do on this thing from tongue all the way to stern so let's start off up here at the tongue first things first this little tongue here, it is the biggest pain in the butt to freaking get this thing unlatched. So I'm probably gonna replace the entire tongue and just be done with it. And you see the current wiring situation for the trailer. Keep in mind, I drove all the way from South Florida like this. Sketchy as heck, guys. Next thing, the, the trailer jack here needs to get replaced. It doesn't have a little foot on it. That's minor. Needs a brand new winch and a brand new winch strap. <laughs> Needs a safety chain as well. You see I've got my little makeshift <laughs> rope around there. That would absolutely do nothing if it were to come off. And going down the side of the boat right here on the rub rails, we've got a lot of superficial stress cracks. And like I said, guys, that's literally the least of my concerns. I just want to get this boat running and back on the water first all that can be taken care of later it's literally all superficial and cosmetic i've talked to a lot of gel coat guys and a lot of fiberglass guys i'm not going to say it's easy to fix it it's very tedious work but it can be done moving forward i know you guys noticed the bottom paint and it came with i forget what they call it i'll put it right here if i remember the name it starts with an a but it's intended to come off like this so it's not an actual hard paint so like i said I, I don't know if i'm gonna take a sander and just sand this all off or if i'm gonna get some kind of acid and just strip it off and kind of scrape it these spindles and hubs have seen better days i'm gonna need to replace all four of both of those these tires are slightly dry rotted so i'm just gonna say screw it and replace all of those as well 
Like I said, you never want to be that guy on the side of the road that's stranded with one of your tires missing or two of your tires missing or your boat on the freaking ground. I've seen it way too many times, guys. But anyways, moving forward, need a trolling motor. That's later on down the road. I want to get all new latches because if you guys can tell here, these are all seized up and won't spin or anything at all. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven latches. Um, other than, you know, obviously the cosmetic stuff. Center console is not secured down. The floor is all ripped up because this boat needs a complete rewire, guys. I've never done anything electrical related in my entire life, but we're gonna give it <laughs> we're gonna give it a shot, boys and girls. Um, while I've got the floor and the center console up, I'm gonna take that time to go ahead and check on the fuel cell, replace some things like the fuel sending unit, fuel lines, or anything that I notice that's off in there. The last thing I'm sure y'all notice I'm missing a motor. Like I said, I bought this boat, just the hull and the trailer, no motor at all. My intentions were to do a complete rebuild on this thing to make it like a brand new boat. Also, while I, I'm gonna take it to the shop to get repowered, but it also needs steering. They're gonna knock that out at the shop. And then me and my buddies, Keith and Dirk, are gonna do all the rest of the work, guys. And you guys are gonna follow along with us for the journey. So now that I've given y'all the grand tour of the new rig, Got everything loaded up, ready to go. Let's go get this boat repowered, boys and girls. guys so i just dropped the boat off at the shop out here in jay florida cotton country marine great people bill is the owner he's a stand-up guy great customer service and they're real quick at what they do and they do great work i'm super freaking pumped up guys i'm not going to tell you guys what brand or what horsepower i'm going with yet i want you guys to guess down in the comments what i'm going with anyways y'all i've got some other here and there things that i'm having them knock out for me and a couple surprises so y'all stay tuned for the next video for that